Uh, just a little bit short of Monuden. Um, well, yeah, on a very, very bumpy day. <laughs> My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Well, you uh, joined me in the air today, uh, just a little bit short of Monuden. Um, well, yeah, on a very, very bumpy day. There's lots of, lots of traffic about, but I haven't actually been able to see anything yet. Um, we're flying to Monuden. It's a place which I've flown into a number of times before, you know that. Um, very, very nice fly in there year before last. But I'm going in there today uh, to meet up with LG. That is the glider 62. What is the Still on 53, yes, overhead or just clear. Uh, still on 53, yes, overhead or just clear. Still on 53, yes, That's the flying cub with a K. Um, I have given a shout out to his channel. Um, on a number of occasions, and uh, we were talking about having a meet-up when uh, we were uh, talking about Giles. Sorry, I knew the airfield was around here somewhere, I just couldn't actually see it. I have seen it now. The left-hand circuit. Which means I'll come this side to join Crosswind. Somewhere fairly close. Uh, can't actually see the windsock, but I think I can't see the windsock because it's actually pointing in this direction. Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel downwind, left hand zero four. Head in traffic, uh, Golf Uniform Bravo, crosswind zero four, left hand. Head in traffic. Fuel pump comes back on. Feed off the front tank. over the top of Phil's house. His new house looks very, very nice. Position approach, Golf Bravo, Victor Juliet, Kilo Glider. Uh, 
Traffic, 9 o'clock, 2 kilometres, 600 feet above. Still wants to fly. Come on, down you come. Good girl, when you're ready, about now would do. Couldn't really have timed that better, really, could we? No. <laughs> have you had a good trip? Yeah, it was great. Got, got clearance through uh, Norwich without any trouble at all, which was always good. Yeah. Bill, a little bit bumpy this be, this way, wasn't it? Or has it been like uh, that the whole way? A chunk of up and down. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to maintain a fixed height. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's a, you know, get underneath one of those clouds and suddenly you're getting 300 feet and, yeah. you know, and I'm throttling right back. <laughs> <laughs> but So you've not been here before? Never before, no. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but I I just sort of hovered <laughs> when coming into land. Yeah, it was quite, it, it was quite, as I was coming in, I, got, I hit a load of sink. Yeah. I hit a load of lift and I hit a load of sink. I don't know about you, but I was looking for you and you were way, way out wide off at on your circuit. Yeah, well I'll tell, you, I'll tell you for why. The person who does these t-shirts lives over there where I position, I position round. So I turn round over the top of his house in order to film it because he's just had a, a whole new house built. So, oh, brilliant. So yeah, that was what that was about. So. Are you sorted? Yes. Yeah, my turn then. <laughs> Your turn.
There's a big lesson to be learned here. In the overall scheme of things, it wasn't dangerous, but it could have been had it been something else. Algy was much faster in starting up and taxiing out, and in a rush to follow him out, I turned on the cameras and started filming with the remote, but I forgot to start the voice recording. I knew that I'd done all of my aircraft checks, but didn't realise till later that the Sony Walkman recorder was on but not actually recording. I was, however, able to capture his amazingly short takeoff run on film, which is the main thing. I backtracked to the start of the runway as I knew that I needed more space but actually lifted off easily. Thanks again to Steve and Lisa for their very very warm welcome. a sound sync. Well, <laughs> there was no point in doing a sound sync because, to be absolutely honest, I hadn't turned the mic on, uh, the uh, Sony recorder, so that was a little bit on the balmy side. But there is a boat manoeuvring in the harbour here at Ipswich, so I thought I'd just deviate for a while. Yeah, it was very nice to fly into Monument again. Um, as I said before, it's somewhere that we do fly into a number of times. It's really nice. I think it's nice to have local airfields where you get on with the people um, and you enjoy flying there. And it was nice to see Steve and Lisa again. Um, Eric was there. And, of course, nice to meet up with LG. We've been following each other's Alert. 100 feet below. Uh, yeah, 100 feet below, but the question is where? Um, yeah, we've been following each other's channels for some time and uh, saying that we must meet up. And then I suppose last year made a big difference because, because of COVID and everything. But it was rather nice to meet up and we said that we would have to have another meet up at some stage. Very worried when it says that you've got a 200 feet above me. Well, it's very, very confusing, I have to say, and slightly worrying. I've still got a red circle on my screen. Um, no other information. I never did find out what that was, but uh, I'll leave the edit there. I was heading for Nayland, and, and effectively still am, but I was rather intrigued as to see that uh, on my journey back, it looks like there's going to be a certain amount of traffic. So I thought I'd just come round here and have a little look and see what happens. The other thing that I was rather intrigued by was to see what happens with the underwing camera on what we referred to as the Kant Roses estate. Now this estate that I will point out in a minute was, uh, <coughs> excuse me, was a roses field where there were lots and lots of experimental roses being grown 
But now you can see with this rather, well, maybe in a minute or two, with these uniform grey roofed houses, this is a pretty enormous estate. Very strange. I'm going to position this for me rather than for the camera because I do want to see what's holding everybody up. I think actually it has sped up a little bit since I saw a minute ago. We're coming out of the top of Colchester United Football Stadium. Always used to be Western Home Stadium, I s assume it still is. 7,000, uh, talk to you shortly. Okay, I've been listening to Watersham, so I'll put that back to safety comp now. I have to say, uh, any time you fly, don't get me wrong, any time you fly, it's great. All right, nice. Um, the experience is tremendous. Visibility is okay, nothing super special. Uh, when you're looking straight down, it's rather nice. But I have to say, that in terms of the experience, it's, you're being chucked around like mad. Um, I'm sure later on this evening, it will be, it will be good. Going to skirt around the village now as per normal. <laughs> Gone quiet while I'm looking for the windsock. It should be a quartering headwind. Although it is moving around all over the place, which will make it an interesting approach. Hatches, harness, right to left, everything's okay, fuel pump's coming back on. Come onto the front tank. Bit of a bucking bronco today. White arc, but I'll leave it for a minute or two. Air is certainly very squirrely. That is, if the air can be squirrely, I know what I mean. White arc. Air breakdown. Change of trim. Looks like I'm looking in that direction for the runway, which you'd have thought would be straight in front of you, but obviously it isn't. So we won't worry today about flying through the gap. The main thing is that we land in a sensible fashion. There was a car just going on into the lane. It'll either be into the lane or it'll be stopping watching me land. I am coming across. And down. Landing on the slope, which means it's we're kicking sideways. This touchdown was fine, bearing in mind it came in at a, quite a big angle. But hey ho. Next week, I get a very warm welcome from everybody at Beckles.